Hi everyone, I have some very interesting breaking news. Let me pan this out a little bit. There we go. Um, I've gotten a couple of interesting comments from, from two different people who were basically telling me the same thing. And both of them sent me videos of proof of what they were saying. They were not phony, fake videos. In fact, the videos were made from back in the late 1950s and the early 1960s. And then, of course, I researched a little bit more in modern day today. Uh, we have magnets that switch on and off. Well, it's a kind of a gimmick, but it works. It's a mechanical switch. On the car engine from the late 1950s to 19, early 1960s, I don't remember the gentleman's name, so I apologize. Plus, it's a German name, so I don't think I could pronounce it anyway. He had it where a rotor was turning. And in the rotor, there was a sh shield. And the shield was round, think in terms of like a, 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 a tube, a barrel, like an oil drum. Anyway, and when the opening opened up, it would see the magnets and thrust a supposed kind of like piston, and then the gap would close because it was being like this magnet here. You can see it now. Now you can't. And so this was spin around, and he was able to get rotation out of it and created a motor. Um, he couldn't get anywhere with it. Uh, by the powers that be, they shut him down. So, and then somebody else came along, did something very similar. Well, I take it with a grain of salt about the switching idea, but the problem was is that I saw the video. It was it was kind of noisy, but it was it was running relatively quiet from what he was achieving. But how could I switch? I'm thinking, no, 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 no. How about if we don't switch magnets on and off? How about if we switch the polarity without having to actually switch the polarity? In other words, fixed polarities. Check this out. First thing you need to note, there is no shielding anywhere to be seen. Let me grab this sample magnet here. Show you all what's going on, then I'll show you the good news. The amazing good news. This is just a one inch by one inch neodymium circular or cylindrical magnet. North Pole, South South Pole. Okay. I'll back the camera off. Okay. Over here. I have that same magnet on this wheel. I also have four of them here. All of these have the North Pole, North Pole, North, and North. On this side, though, on this one, we have the South. So when this magnet is approaching this stator magnet, so this is the armature magnet, this is the stator magnet. And by the way, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm glad to have you on board. Hopefully you'll hang around. Okay, so we have attraction. As this passes exactly in the middle, you can feel it switching from attraction over to repulsion. As it switches from repulsion, this magnet here, which is in attraction mode, it now sees it. So it's literally switching from repulsion to attraction mode, both at the same time. So as one is pushing, the other one's pulling it into the next one. And it goes on to the next one, and the next one. Oh, psh, look at that. Isn't that cool? So bring it back here. Now watch this. We'll do it all the way from back here. Let it go on in. And each time it gets to each one, it gets a little bit and a little bit and a little bit faster. Now watch this. Keep watching. I didn't do it. Huh. It's the first time it hasn't done it. Well, let me just let it try it again. Let just let it go through. I think it's because I pushed it up so darn far. Look how far I pushed that. Okay. Maybe it'll do it this time. Uh, here we go. Okay, it's going to do it. And just watch the characteristics here. For those of you who have really advanced thinking on magnetism. Now, what's going to happen here? So since all these are in traction mode, I mean repulsion mode, going this way, because the, the magnets are all angled. Except this one. This one needs to be angled more. This is why 
is having trouble going this way. So, because there's repulsion mode on this side. So when it comes to a final rest, it will rest on this side. Not in the middle, but on this side. And this shows you the one-way direction these stators are set up to pull this magnet this way, but not favor going this way. This is a game changer, in my opinion. A total and absolute game changer. So, again, we have basically a V, if you will, or an A. Another A. And then another one here. So what we have here is we have... So as it goes from one polarity, it's already being seen by another polarity. As it's being pushed out, it's being, being pushed into an attraction field. And as, it, as the inertia... It continues to build. It literally it builds. Then it goes into the next one. So this one goes into repulsion mode while this one is now in attraction mode. And it just, it, it, it continues to uh, not gain momentum. It, it gains inertia. So this is totally, in my opinion, a total game changer. So what I'm going to need to do here, now this wheel will not keep turning even if I put two magnets on it. It makes no difference. And the reason being is because there are two long wood screws in there, and there are two long wood screws in here that are steel. So to hold this wood together, that's the term, wood screws. They're not screws made out of wood. So I have to get rid of this setup. And once this wheel, and also, I forgot to mention, these here, these magnets, what these magnets on, this is steel. These as well have to be causing some kind of drag. However minimal, it's still drag. Because let me show you something. I want you to see this. Here's an inch ruler. I'm in America. I don't do things in centimeters. I know America's turning over centimeters. It's frustrating. But if you look at this here, do it down here. This is approximately four inches from the wheel. This one is approximately four inches again from the wheel. And that one's probably four inches. This one's a little closer though. This one, oh gosh. <laughs> uh, dang it. Mm. Anyway, this is probably closer to three and a half inches or something like that. So, it goes to show you how powerful these magnets are. Even though they're that far away from this armature magnet, it's still very effective, which means that this magnet is also seeing this steel, the base, the top up here so all of this is also complicated matters um i'll put another magnet on here but watch one last time but it's not gonna work any better it's just got too much drag between this and the wood screws but i had to show you this this is crazy no uh what do you call it no shielding and look it kicks out faster it, it accelerates it goes through watch this do it from a stand and start let me get it so i can feel it hitting the traction mode right there. That is virtually from standstill. Look at that. That's just, this is a game changer in my opinion. Okay, so let me get another here. Another one of these here. If I put it on the other side, it won't work. If I put it, let me make sure I got in the right mode of attraction. Okay. And then these have to be spaced just right. So while one's in attraction mode here, this one is also in attraction mode. I mean, I'm sorry, repulsion mode. I need to have one attraction, one repulsion, as I figured this out. But these are all uneven, and look at this big gap, and it's still working. Okay, so uh, this is now in repulsion. This needs to be in attraction mode. Okay, attraction, repulsion, a little bit more over here. Now, this in here is going to screw this all up but we're just doing this for fun okay now let's bring it through let's see how much more speed it does or doesn't gain Ooh! oh my gosh that was sweet oh 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 my gosh that was sweet oh 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 try one more time here Oh my word. Oh my word. Are we on to something? Are we on to something? 
I'm out of magnets, guys. I don't have any more of these things. So what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to have to get rid, all, get rid of all the metal. I'm going to have to either get brass mounts or figure out where I can get some plastic uh, um, elbows. And I'm going to have to get rid of the, the this here. And uh, that way you don't have the wood screws. Uh, this is crazy good. I mean, this is crazy. Absolutely crazy. No, 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 uh, no shielding. And so what will happen here at some point is I tweak these and get the spacing mathematically. I have to do this mathematically and I'm not there's no real math I just winged all of this I just kind of threw it together and had some fun and so I spaced this extra far apart thinking I was going to have the next one far apart but it had trouble didn't really want to favor too well let me watch this I'll take this out you'll see what I mean now let's try this do this around this way I guess where are those mags here they come let me slow it down that's too fast just nice and slow It worked, but nowhere near as sweet. Put this back. <clears throat> okay. Now let's let it come through again. Just as slow as it was before. Let me slow it down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Here we go. Wow. That's crazy. That is crazy. What's this going to do here? Yep. It doesn't want to go in the other direction. That is absolutely awesome. This is freaking awesome. Wow. This is a total game changer in my view. Uh, I guess what will happen here is I'll figure out how to tweak this, get these magnets closer, get the torque up, get more magnets on the wheel, get more of these going all the way around to increase torque. And then at some point, we can expand this where we have multiple layers upwards. And maybe the layers will have to be staggered. So they're like this, like you see on, I don't know what the darn thing is called, per dev or per div or whatever motor. They have their staggered. Um, this is a different arrangement. This is not the same as what we see on YouTube. So, okay, that's it. Uh, I, I want to get this uh, edited and up on up on the news, and I'll release this uh, at noon here. It'll, it'll be noon today when you're watching it at noon, because I'm going to set it for 12 noon. All right. Wow. Thank you, guys. Oh, and thank you for all the criticism, too. I take it with a grain of salt. It doesn't bother me. People think I'm wacko, just crazy, eccentric. I don't care what you say. I'm getting results. I don't know anybody else on YouTube who's sitting down explaining this and doing this and actually getting results. That is amazing.